there are a lot of products out there that claim to grow your hair as well as home remedies and i've seen a lot of people trying out different things especially diy remedies one of which stood out was the clove and rosemary challenge i've seen it on tiktok i've seen it on youtube i've seen it everywhere and the results have been good bad however we are going to put this challenge to the test for two months and see what happens the first step is to wash and condition your hair and also don't forget to detangle because that's the most important part i would advise that you style your hair and put it in straight back braids or mini braids anything to keep your hands out of your hair because you are going to be tempted to just look at your hair length every single day to see how much hair has grown at the beginning of this challenge take a picture for before and after to compare your results so that you can see if your hair really grew or your hair just broke off because if you don't have evidence then your hair didn't grow i know of a lot of people that just take old pictures of when their hair was flourishing and then they say it grew their hair to prepare the hair mist we are going to use dry rosemary leaves cloves and an orange peel now i use the orange peel to get a citrus smell because the cloves has a strong smell so if you like the smell of spices then you're welcome to use it as it is some people use this recipe with fenugreek seeds or you can even use a mixture of ayurvedic herbs anything you want just to make it your own place the mixture in a spray bottle and put it in the fridge to keep it fresh for a long time the next step is to come up with a consistent hair routine for this challenge i spritz my hair twice a week but i've seen women that have done this challenge and rinsed out their hair with this water every single day there are a lot of benefits to doing this challenge and i've seen reviews where women said it grew their hair overnight it grew their hair in two weeks i mean can you believe it overnight i don't get people who say something grows their hair overnight because your hair cannot grow long overnight but it grows over time cloves reduces dandruff prevents itchy scalp strengthens hair stimulates hair growth and prevents hair loss while rosemary increases hair growth hair thickness and gives your hair a little bit of shine as much as there are so many reviews about cloves and rosemary growing one's hair like a bush this challenge took a turn for me before i get into that just look at the new hair growth oh my goodness i was just so excited and i couldn't wait to take this hairstyle down to see how much my hair has grown now back to the main issue this was how my hair looked before the challenge and this is how my hair looks after the challenge this was the twist before the challenge and this was the twist after the challenge you can see there is a little bit of length there but notice the difference my hair is thinner and i can honestly say my number one mistake was wrapping my hair with brazilian wool because most of my hair was not exposed to the moisturizer that i was using so obviously when i took down the brazilian wool majority of my hair was dry because it was wrapped in the brazilian wool that's why in the beginning i said it's better to leave your hair in twists and braids and cornrows because it has easy access to the nutrients of the water and the moisturizer I feel like to some extent this challenge was overhyped and my hair broke off this is how my hair looks you can see the middle part there is just little hair and i was excited to put my hair in a ponytail because i feel like every time i put it in a ponytail then it shows how much hair has grown although the twist did look like it has grown but the thing is i lost a lot of hair in the center of my head so will i try this again definitely but using different strategies unlike me because i remember i used to wrap my hair with a head wrap and it was made of cotton that might have also contributed to the hair loss and everything because the cotton was sucking out the moisture and another thing is that i did this challenge in winter the most drying time so probably putting water on my hair a lot also contributed to that so this is how much hair i have lost 
just keep in mind that my hair has been tucked away for two months so that is like a hundred and something strands of hair because you lose a hundred strands of hair every day so to me it looked like it was a lot because the way i saw my hair thinning out i was like this thing broke off my hair leave a comment down below and tell us which challenge has worked for you and subscribe like share for more videos on all things hair skin and lifestyle <laughs>